Shall we start? I think so, yeah. OK, so um, welcome, everyone. I hope you all had a, an enjoyable holiday break. Um, it's great to be back. And um, the first talk of the new year is by Alexei Bolsonov, and he'll be talking about Neuhaus geometry and its applications. Thanks a lot, Enrique. Can you hear me? It's OK? Yes. Good. Uh, so uh, uh, thanks a lot for this invitation. That it's great pleasure to give this talk at your seminar, and uh, hopefully it will be uh, clear why. Because no, no, basically because uh, so we believe that uh, Neuhaus geometry and Poisson geometry are closest neighbors in differential geometry, let's say. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about, so this is uh, the, the sort of, it, it's review talk on the, the recent results obtained in collaboration with Andrei Kanyaev and uh, Vladimir Matveyev. And maybe it's kind of, it's not very traditional, but I, I will start with, uh, uh, oops with uh, the list of references, just uh, in order to explain what we are doing. So for us, Neuhaus geometry, it's kind of, it's absolutely new topic, almost untouched. Uh, and uh, so we, we want to kind of develop general theory. And uh, so we have written already so three papers, Neuhaus geometry one, two, and three. And also as we, at, uh, at the same time, we are trying to work on some applications applications one, applications two, and applications three. So that, that's, uh, that's what we, uh, so we've done so, so far. Uh, the, 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 what, uh, what I'm going to talk about is agreed with uh, Anton Alexeyev. So uh, the, my uh, talk will be divided into two parts. No, first is quite elementary in my opinion, in the sense that uh, all uh, results uh, I'm going to talk about are too easy to formulate, and uh, I, I suppose uh, that everybody will understand this. Uh, so the second part so will be devoted uh, to applications, applications to infinite dimensional Poisson brackets of geometric type, uh, and uh, uh, there, there will be something, some, some, some more technical and uh, a little bit maybe more advanced. Uh, and I will start with um, with this slide here, you know, just to uh, remind you who who was uh, who Albert uh, Neinhaus uh, was. So it is a Dutch mathematician, uh, the, and uh, uh, so this definition, so the starting point of the whole theory um, and the main properties of uh, Neinhaus torsion and some 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 properties of Neinhaus separators, as uh, it. Uh, happens very often, uh, that was his PhD thesis. Uh, so written uh, under supervision to, uh, by, uh, by uh, uh, Schouten, uh, this is, uh, you, you know this name, I, I guess uh, this is a classic of uh, tensor analysis. So this is uh, the, so here you, you see, if you see, you can, you can see my cursor, right? So, so this is, uh, this is a paper where uh, the first paper in Nankhuis geometry where Nankhuis torsion was introduced. Uh, uh, so next, uh, what is geometry? Of course, when, this, when uh, someone says geometry, for instance, uh, Euclid, uh, when he said geometry, he probably meant something else. What do I mean by saying geometry? Not, uh, it kind of it consists of two parts. So the first part is a manifold, of course, not like uh, torus, say. Um, uh, the second part is geometric structure. Uh, the, what is geometric structure? The, 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 the most common way to introduce geometric structure is, uh, is to define it by means of certain tensor, tensor field, like uh, to remain in metric or symplectic structure or Poisson structure. And if we look at uh, this uh, approach uh, from a very naive point of view, then uh, uh, the in coordinates, uh, the geometric structure is defined by, uh, by means of a matrix. Just n by n matrix, n is a dimension. Uh, uh, the, the elements of this uh, matrix depend on 
on local coordinates, so these are not numbers, but functions, and uh, the, these metrics satisfy both uh, the, some algebraic uh, properties, like non-degeneracy, for instance, or skew symmetry or symmetry, uh, and some also some differential properties, like Jacobi identity, for instance, uh, for uh, Poisson structure. Uh, okay, uh, so what is uh, the nine Hill's geometry from this point of view? Obviously, so this is, uh, this is geometry that, that, which is defined by means of a uh, tensor which is which not uh, bilinear form, either in uh, uh, covariant or contravariant, but uh, it's an operator. So this matrix uh, is an operator, uh, or uh, uh, that means that, uh, that we were dealing with one one tensors, fields of endomorphisms, uh, but I will refer to this object as gen just an operator. Operator meaning uh, tensor depending on the point. Okay, and uh, 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 so what is additional condition? The additional condition is uh, that uh, nine Hill torsion. I will define it in uh, in a second. Nine Hill torsion of uh, this operator so vanishes. A manifold endowed with uh, nine Hill operator is called nine Hill manifold. Not just uh, in the same way as we define Poisson manifold. Okay, uh, so, so the, the why, what is our motivation? Why kind of strange idea to, uh, to, to develop this sort of theory? No, but the, the first, uh, I guess, uh, the, the first motivation is clear and I have just uh, explained this. So, so we have Riemannian geometry, symplectic geometry, Poisson geometry, and uh, so uh, these are forms either symmetric or skew symmetric, or covariant or contravariant. Uh, but uh, so one uh, type of matrices is still missing in this list. So these are the operators it's with, with one upper and one uh, lower index. Uh, so the, this is just a uh, very natural candidate to continue so this list. Uh, no, but uh, the, the obviously that was not our original motivation. So the, uh, originally we just uh, we worked with uh, um, compatible Poisson brackets, uh, some Lee pencils, uh, uh, so geometric uh, geodesically equivalent matrix, uh, three of us. Uh, uh, and that we noticed that uh, the nine operators uh, so play uh, the very important uh, the role in all these areas. So let, let me remind you where they appear. Now, first of all, the bi Hamiltonian system. So bi Hamiltonian formalism developed by, uh, discovered uh, by Franco Magri and then developed by many people. Uh, among which I, uh, I, I would mention, first of all, Franco Magri and Yvette Koshman Schwarzbach. So they develop uh, theories which is called Poisson Nienhuis manifold. So Nienhuis was, of course, uh, involved in, in this business. Uh, Nienhuis operators in, in this area, so these are so called recursion operators. Recursion operators for the by Hamiltonian system, both finite dimensional and uh, to infinite dimensional. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, and everybody knows that, uh, that nine Hills is, uh, has something to do with this. Uh, so, next uh, example so, geodesically equivalent matrix. Again, in, in this area, so if we consider two matrix with having the same geodesic, then the operator. Uh, between them, uh, modified a little bit, uh, is a nine Hughes operator. And the classification of such metrics is based essentially on the properties of this operator. Uh, in integrable systems, uh, only algebras of nine Hughes, algebraic nine Hughes operators uh, appear to in the study of uh, so-called Lipoasson pencils. And uh, even in algebra, so just algebra, nothing to do with geometry, they, they also appear. Uh, they are known as uh, uh, left symmetric algebras, so, uh, uh, also known as uh, so pre lie algebras. I, I will explain what, uh, what it is about uh, a little bit uh, later. And uh, 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 the relation uh, uh, here is just exactly the same as the relation between Poisson structures and Lie algebras. 
and then here's operators are related to left symmetric algebras exactly in the same way. Okay, so now the definition. Oh no, sorry. So, so, so before we start definition, so a little bit some little bit philosophy. And uh, as I said already, so Poisson geometry for us, it's kind of it's kind of the best, it's a motivating example, let's say. Uh, so if we uh, uh, look what happened in uh, Poisson geometry before seven, the 70s, I guess, I would say so. Uh, so then everybody knew, of course, uh, the, the definition and uh, the, the, some basic properties like Darboux theorem and uh, the mathematicians and physicists used uh, the Poisson brackets to develop Hamiltonian mechanics. No, it's just as a tool. And in Hughes geometry, the current situation is exactly the same. Uh, every, uh, everybody knows uh, the, the definition and some, some basic properties, and we use it uh, to study integrable systems as, a, as a, just a tool. Uh, no, but then the situation in the Poisson geometry has changed. And well, I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of very personal, of course, uh, impression but for me that was uh, the paper by Alan Weinstein so who explains so this uh, the, the relationship between the splitting theorem basically splitting theorem so so how to split the Poisson structure into symplectic part and uh, uh, and uh, the part uh, with a very singular point where the Poisson structure vanishes and then what to do with this uh, 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 part uh, uh, by considering linearization, linearization problem, and they, this sort of thing, and also to global, uh, global aspects uh, to like Boston, uh, the cohomologies, and 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 everything started uh, the, the basically uh, the, somewhere I don't know in. 70s, 80s. Uh, and here's geometry. Uh, so if we, we just started to do, we tried to do something similar. And the, the first result was exactly the splitting theorem. So then uh, the, the singular points and linearization. So we now we do have some, some general understanding about what's going on. Uh, for, so the stability of uh, Poisson structures, the stability of Langhuis structure. We, uh, no, no, we do understand what's going on in two-dimensional case. Uh, I, I will explain what uh, the problems uh, are uh, in higher dimension. Uh, we do understand some topologic, global topological abstractions for existence of uh, nine Hewitt operators, but we still were very, in the very beginning. So the, 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 we, we do believe that, uh, that we can do something similar, not in the, maybe not in the sense of techniques, but uh, used, but uh, at least in the sense of philosophy. And also that I want to remind uh, uh, just one citation for, from Alan Weinstein. So who said that, you see what's written here. So that uh, after long dormancy, Poisson geometry has become an active field of research. And during the past uh, 30 years, uh, uh, the, uh, and why it happens? Because it was stimulated by connections with uh, the number of areas. Um, yeah, no, but uh, this is kind of our dream. And uh, we want to kind of to wake up the main phase geometry as it is uh, in, the, in, the, in the current. Uh, state uh, and, and uh, the, the main point uh, to, for us is uh, to to study to two things. Uh, first, um, singularity, singular points uh, for nine Hughes operators, where standard the theorem like Darboux theorem doesn't work, uh, and uh, also to try to understand some some global global property. So there are a lot of uh, the open problems. And uh, so we do believe that uh, some techniques developed in Poisson geometry uh, so would be very, very helpful here. OK, so now the definition. Uh, the definition is standard. Uh, so we take uh, uh, so 1-1 one tensor uh, operator uh, in uh, my terminology and define the name histortion. And histortion is defined by means of this formula. Uh, but I don't know if I need uh, to, uh, to 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 say anything about uh, this this formula. It's a nice formula. To, to, to basically, 
nine-nine distortion. So this is the vector value two form associated uh, with any operator. And uh, in local coordinates, you, you can compute it in this way. And, and here it is nice to compare with Jacobi identity or, or uh, the, the, the Houghton bracket for Poisson tensor. It's, it, it, uh, ideology is, is, is exactly the same. And uh, uh, if you look at uh, the Jacobi identity for Poisson bracket, you will see that, uh, that uh, this expression that depends on L on P or some bracket and uh, partial derivatives of P uh, exactly in the same way. It's linear in both, but uh, uh, tot uh, in total, so it is, it's not linear, uh, in, but uh, quadratic. Uh, the, so something, something similar. Uh, and uh, so we say that uh, L is an increase operator if uh, it's an increase vanishes. Uh, examples, examples. So, so some, some, some examples uh, are, are, are trivial and well known, and maybe almost all of them in here in this list. If uh, if uh, so we take an operator with constant uh, entries, that is uh, obviously it's a uh, nine hues scalar operator is nine hues for any function f here. Uh, complex structure. So complex structure, it's another famous example of a ninth phase operator. Uh, I remind you uh, the famous uh, nirenberg Newlander theory, I'm sure, which say that uh, uh, almost complex structure is complex if and only if it is nine hertz, basically. So that's what this theorem says. Um, uh, so another example this is just a diagonal operator. Uh, each uh, diagonal element uh, is either is, is either just the corresponding coordinate or could be a function of, uh, of of this coordinate. And what what you see here, so the, that's exactly what. Uh, uh, it's an analog of um, the Darbu theorem in this case. So if we assume that uh, uh, our operator is diagonalizable at each point and has uh, distinct eigenvalues, uh, so then basically you can reduce it to this form. So the, the next example, so this is sort of canonical form for uh, this Jordan block. Uh, so if I don't indicate uh, elements in my matrix, so it means that all, uh, all of them are equal to zero. And uh, the, the last example, it's kind of, it's, it is less trivial. It's it, it, it sort of, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, not so, uh, it's an easy to believe, but uh, that, so there are some efforts to uh, to prove this statement. Uh, so if you have an, a, a nine Huss operator and consider any matrix function, like exponent, sine, uh, polynomial with constant feature, but uh, not, uh, not only on the adult. So there are the very tricky, uh, the matrix, uh, the analytic functions, uh, all of them uh, so will, will still be nine Huss. And, uh, and this, uh, this is uh, the, uh, the, the last uh, statement here is one of uh, important instruments in, uh, in the field. Uh, splitting theorem, what is a split? Oh no, sorry, again, I kind of, I'm too quick. Uh, so we need to uh, discuss uh, the singularities. So, so what, uh, what do I mean by generic and singular points? So generic point. Uh, that point uh, to is called generic, so we have an operator. It depends, uh, the entries of this operator depend on, uh, on local coordinates. So what does it mean for the point to be uh, uh, generic, algebraically generic? Uh, so we say that it is generic in the sense if algebraic type uh, of, of this matrix, uh, does not change locally in the neighborhood of a given point. Uh, it's what do I mean by algebraic type? Uh, Jordan normal, normal form basically. Or so if you know what is the Greek characteristic, I mean exactly the Greek characteristic. In uh, um, more kind of advanced language, uh, I mean, uh, so that I have a matrix, uh, an operator, 
so this uh, some matrix uh, so can be characterized, but it's um, um, orbit type. Orbit type, uh, no up to uh, the coordinate transformation, so L can be uh, reduced to uh, Jordan normal form, and uh, to, uh, this type is basically so how to what are uh, multiplicities of eigenvalues, and so what is splitting or into Jordan blocks with a given multi uh, with a given eigenvalue. So these uh, these are basically the sizes of Jordan blocks for each eigenvalue. So that's what is also type. Uh, the generic means that eigenvalues uh, do not collide uh, at uh, this point. Uh, the structure, the Jordan structure, remains the same. Uh, so if, uh, if if it is not true, we say that uh, the point is singular. Now, for instance, so some of eigenvalues collide. So this is a typical situation. Or say two uh, small Jordan blocks with the same eigenvalues become the one big Jordan block. Uh, other way around, sorry. So it would take a big Jordan block and it splits into small, two small Jordan blocks at a given point. Uh, that uh, that's what we mean by singularity. It's a little bit more complicated uh, as compared to uh, Poisson structure, for instance. So it's a, a singularity in Poisson world means that uh, the the rank of uh, this Poisson tensor drops at a given point. So this is it's something else. Um, so what are the, the best operators uh, in algebraic sense? Uh, so we call them so GL regular, and it means that uh, the, the, uh, the, the orbit type of, uh, uh, of, of this matrix locally in, in given point is, uh, is, is generic. So that the, uh, the, formally speaking, it means that a joint orbit or just orbit uh, with respect to coordinate transformations for this operator, so has maximal dimension. Uh, uh, another equivalent algebraic description is as follows. Eigenvalues may collide, but if they collide, so then uh, to, uh, for a given eigenvalue, only one Jordan block appears. So this is GL regularity condition. Sometimes so, uh, such operators are called cyclic. Uh, uh, but we call them to GL regular to, uh, to, to make some, some reference with representation theory. Uh, were, in this, uh, speaking of uh, this matrix, of this, this space of operators as uh, the Lie algebra of the general linear group. It, it makes sense. And one more uh, so definition, uh, differentially it's a non-degenerate. Uh, uh, operators uh, in this case, unlike um, uh, the situation with uh, uh, so bilinear forms, bilinear forms, so they uh, they do not have any uh, uh, any scalar invariance, but the operators, what they do have uh, eigenvalues, for instance. No, but eigenvalues are not so good because. Uh, uh, they, they are not smooth. Instead, uh, so we, uh, what we need to consider, we need to consider the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial. And we say that the point is, uh, is good, the operator is good, uh, non, uh, differentially non-degenerate, if these functions, coefficients of the characteristic polynomial, are uh, functionally independent. So their differentials uh, at a given point are the linearly independent. So this is kind of setting. Uh, so what, what we want to do, we want to study singularities. Uh, uh, we want to study both uh, differentially degenerate and non-degenerate points. So one understands so what, what is the difference. So as for so GL regularity condition, no, but this is exactly uh, what uh, in Poisson geometry, what would correspond to symplectic case. So non-degenerate Poisson structure that uh, so and, uh, in, uh, in, in this case, uh, analog is, uh, is jail regular operator. So this theory, it's kind of 
its a symplectic counterpart, uh, or counterpart to symplectic story. Uh, okay, uh, so next, uh, now the uh, uh, splitting theory. Uh, and I, I want you to compare this with uh, Weinstein's splitting theory here. So what, what it is about. So let's do the following. So consider a characteristic polynomial of our operator and um, imagine that at a given point, uh, uh, this characteristic polynomial splits into two parts uh, so we can factorize it. So we have, so have two factors without common uh, roots. So we will say that uh, this is kind of admissible factorization. So then uh, it's easy to see that uh, you can extend this uh, factorization into the whole neighborhood of, of this point. And after this, you, you, you can construct two to the very natural to distributions uh, by, by, by doing the, the following thing. So, so if, you, if you have such a factorization at one single point, then you, you can represent your operator, um, uh, uh, you can split it into two blocks. Uh, so it will, the, the, the one block uh, that will have uh, uh, chi one, the, the first factor as a characteristic polynomial, so the other so it will have uh, the, the answer. So this is just to say uh, that, uh, 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 the, so if we uh, divide uh, eigenvalues into two groups, then so they uh, live uh, so independently at the, at the given point. Now that's so what uh, splitting theorem says uh, in this case. It says that uh, you you can do this not at just one single point, but in uh, in a neighborhood. Uh, so these uh, uh, distributions are integrable, and if you consider adapted coordinate system with uh, these two complementary int uh, integrable distribution, then the, the, the matrix of uh, your operator will uh, split into two blocks, uh, and that each of which depends on the, its own group of variables. So in other words, so this is just a direct sum, direct sum of two operators. It's like in the Weinstein theorem. So this is a the direct product of uh, the symplectic part and uh, the, so it's a very singular part. It, it, it's exactly the same. Uh, and uh, the obviously it follows uh, from this uh, that uh, every Weinstein operator and locally so can be split into a direct sum of Weinstein uh, operators. So it's each of which at the given point uh, so has uh, only one eigenvalue or the, the pair of complex uh, conjugate uh, eigenvalues. Uh, 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 but uh, at a given point, I uh, repeat, uh, so if you just perturb this point a little bit, uh, the, 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 this, uh, this property immediately so disappears. Uh, you know, it's just the, the same as to say uh, in Weinstein, a splitting theorem if, if you consider a point and you, you move a little bit uh, this point and the rank of Poisson structure immediately changes. Uh, and here the uh, eigenvalues will change. Uh, and uh, the obviously so this uh, corollary immediately implies uh, uh, that's a famous uh, 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 so the result in Einhuis geometry that uh, it's uh, is known as Hunter's theorem. So if operator is uh, is uh, diagonalizable with uh, different eigenvalues uh, then the, you 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 at each point then you can do it in the neighborhood and it splits into direct sum of uh, uh, one dimensional non-fusion so that uh, uh, that uh, that is starting point of, of the whole theory okay so that's a splitting theorem so next uh, next result um, uh, so it, it's also it I want to mention so generalized uh, Nirenberg Newlander theorem, uh, which in this case uh, can be stated as follows. Uh, now consider say, there, yeah? there is a there is a question in the chat about the splitting theorem. I'm not sure if you want to wait until the end. No, I, I, to address I, I, it. I I don't know. So let's if, if you can read it. Yes, yeah, sure. So uh, a question I, by... I, I I can see it. Yeah, it concerns the connection with the splitting theorem for Lie algebraids. 
given that a knowing house operator defines one on the tangent bundle? Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I can't comment uh, uh, on this in detail. No, but my understanding that, that kind of ideolo ideology is uh, is uh, basically the same. But uh, that's all I can say here at the moment. Uh, the technology it's partially similar, no, but but not not quite, of course. So uh, I will continue with uh, uh, Nirenberg Nylander theorem. So then I uh, assume that so we have a nine phase operator with no real eigenvalues. All eigenvalues, uh, so this is a real operator, but with no real eigenvalues. All eigenvalues are complex. So then, then uh, the, our manifold uh, is complex manifold. So there is uh, it's a very nice, nice complex structure canonically associated with this operator. Uh, the, the moreover, so with respect to this complex structure, this operator uh, becomes complex and, uh, and holomorphic in, uh, in very natural sense. And uh, the complex non-hue structure for this operator is zero, it's vanishes. So the complex non-hue, uh, com what, what did I say? Sorry, complex non-hue distortion. Uh, for this operator the vanishes. No meaning that, so if we forget about uh, the real uh, coordinates on our manifold and uh, start working with uh, uh, complex coordinates, uh, so then just uh, it, uh, the, the non distortion vanishes in, uh, in the, the most natural sense. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, this uh, the theorem implies uh, Nirenberg Nylander theorem. Uh, no, but uh, the truth uh, is, of course, it's the other way around. This theorem is based on uh, Nirenberg Nylander theorem, uh, the, the, which is essentially used in, in the proof. Uh, uh, no, but this is general version. Uh, uh, the, the key point of the proof uh, is, uh, is uh, the following, that, that I said that uh, there is a very nice complex structure canonically associated with L. No, but uh, this um, uh, structure is, is just a function of uh, our operator L. This is a matrix analytic function. And it's, it sounds a little, a little bit surprising, but uh, this is exactly the case. So to J complex structure can be defined in this way. It's just a function of L. Uh, so next uh, point. Uh, so this is uh, the, perhaps uh, the, the, the most interesting part of, of this story and uh, uh, the part which is the most related uh, uh, to Poisson to, to geometry. Uh, so to let, let us consider the very, very singular point. So at a very singular point, what do I mean by that? In Poisson geometry, that would be a point where the Poisson structure vanishes. So in this case, uh, that, uh, the, the rank is not important, uh, the rank of, of this matrix. What is important is uh, so how different this matrix is from the identity operator. But uh, let us assume that the given point, this, uh, this operator is just identity or proportional to identity. So then the, the way, the, with our the loss of generality, we can just uh, lambda identity, we can subtract and assume that uh, this operator is, uh, is zero at uh, this point. So then uh, we can do the standard trick. Uh, so L of X, uh, 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 all the entries depend on uh, X. And the, the we expand them in Taylor series and uh, represent L as a, uh, as a sum of operators, L1, L2, L3, L1, uh, the, the entries of L1 are linear in X, uh, entries of L2 the quadratic, uh, of L3 cubic, and so on. So this is kind of standard trick. And uh, uh, the, the, it's more or less obvious fact that if I consider the linear part, L1, so here, then the, this linear part itself, so will be an increase operator. Uh, to which uh, is natural to, to call to just linearization of L at a given point. Uh, in Poisson, 
the geometry of this linearization will be the algebra, of course. Uh, in this case, what it is. Let's do the same. So, I, uh, so these are linear functions uh, of, of this kind. Uh, so the, the coefficients, I can treat uh, the coefficients of, uh, of uh, these linear combinations as, as structure constants of a certain algebra. So what about this algebra? Uh, it appears uh, that uh, this object is well known in, in algebra and it is called left symmetric algebra or pre algebra. So we will refer to it as um, isotropy of left symmetric algebra for a given operator L. Okay, mm. uh, so now, uh, uh, so what is left symmetric algebra? So let me remind you. It, it's, it's a very interesting object. Uh, to, to, to be honest, I've never heard about it before we started doing uh, so this uh, the business. Uh, the, it means the following. So we can see there's a look at the left-hand side of uh, this identity here. So this it's known as associator. Uh, if it is zero, then, then the algebra is associative. No, no, in our case, it is not associative. But uh, if we swap xi and uh, eta in this formula, so it, we will get the same result. So for this reason, it's called left symmetric. It is symmetric. Uh, so with respect to the permutation of left uh, ingredients of, uh, of the associator. It is also known as Preli algebra. What is the reason for that? Uh, the reason is as follows. Uh, if we consider uh, just usual associative algebra and consider uh, operation AB minus BA, then AB minus B will define the uh, structure of Lie algebra. That's everybody knows this. But it appears that uh, the associativity uh, is uh, is not uh, is not necessary for this property. What is necessary is just uh, this. It's left symmetric. So the left symmetric algebras are basically those for which AB minus BC defines the algebra. And uh, as soon as uh, so we, we understand this, so then the, obviously so we uh, can ask uh, the many natural questions like uh, linearization or non degeneracy problems. So it's a given operator, is it equivalent to its linearization or not? Can we linearize it or not? Linearization, is it stable or unstable? So uh, let me remind you one definition here. I say remind because so this definition is, is just copied from Poisson geometry. Uh, left symmetric algebra is called non-degenerate if uh, uh, every Nanhuis operator L whose isotropy uh, left symmetric algebra is, is this one, uh, if this operator so can be linearized. Or uh, in other words, uh, you take this algebra, so this Nanhuis operator and you, you uh, perturb it by adding higher order terms. You add higher order terms, but all of them so can always be killed. So that uh, that's what is called uh, uh, certain non -de non degenerate. And uh, I uh, refer to the famous uh, theorems by Jack Cohn and uh, the book uh, uh, by Jean Paul Dufour and Nguyen Tianzung, they devoted uh, to, to what is this business. So uh, uh, let, let me say what we know uh, about non degeneracy of. Uh, uh, in uh, the main phase geometry. The, the first theorem by Andrei Konyaev is as follows. So in, the, in dimension two, there are so 12 types of left symmetric algebras. Six of them are non-degenerate in the smooth case. So the others are not. Uh, some depend on parameters. Uh, in the real analytic case, uh, the list of uh, non-degenerate uh, left symmetric algebras is, is slightly different, slightly larger. It's uh, the same as in Poisson geometry. So if you consider um, uh, 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 semi-simple Lie algebras, then in the real analytic case, uh, they are non-degenerate, uh, but in the real case, not quite. Uh, to, 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 there are counterexamples. And uh, so here we observe uh, a similar, Phenomenon. And uh, so the one more 
uh, so one more uh, theorem, uh, which is uh, uh, the, which is true in real analytic or formal case when we deal with uh, formal power series. So if uh, if we assume that uh, the linearization of uh, of uh, our manifest operator is just a diagonal operator x1, x2, and so on, xn, uh, the, it, it, at zero. But this is important. So to consider point zero where the, uh, this diagonal operator becomes just trivial. So then, uh, uh, then this situation is, uh, this such an operator is linearizable. So meaning that uh, uh, diagonal left symmetric algebras are non-degenerate. Now, this is sort of analog of uh, uh, semi-simple situation. And then you see it is indeed semi-simple, uh, this, uh, this algebra in, uh, in the, the most natural. Um, sense. Uh, uh, however, then the, again, I uh, refer to the Poisson geometry and this observation that in semi simple case, analytic and real situations are different. So we don't know if it is true in uh, in uh, in uh, in the smooth case. But maybe maybe not. It is true in dimension two in higher dimensions. So hard have to say. Um, so let me see how much time I have. Uh, the, uh, the, the very quickly about uh, the, the Jordan block. Uh, the, the, uh, the let's consider so the uh, the following question. So do we basically we know what uh, what 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 happens in the uh, semi simple case when this operator is semi-simple and has different eigenvalues. But what about Jordan block? So it, if, uh, if L is Jordan block at a given point and the neighborhood is uh, it's, it's something else, what happens? What, uh, what we can say? Uh, so, the, so this theorem uh, is, in my opinion, is very nice. Uh, if um, our operator is the generic uh, in the sense uh, generic, in differential sense, in the sense uh, that uh, the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial of this operator are uh, the independent functions at a given point, then so we can always find that we can always reduce uh, this uh, operator in the, to a very simple and elegant form, so known as companion form. So this is just this. Uh, and it, it is true um, for Jordan block. For Jordan block, uh, at the given point, all these coordinates x1, xn, uh, will vanish. But it is also true for any uh, differentially non-degenerate operator. That doesn't matter. So how many uh, the Jordan blocks uh, are there, or even for some simple case, it's still true. Um, uh, so the one the, the, the very nice. Um, um, uh, corollary uh, for, from this theorem so it, uh, that uh, differentially non-degenerate singular points are C2 stable. So if uh, so we add uh, some, some, some perturbations of uh, the order two or higher, uh, the, uh, the, the structure uh, doesn't change. So they, all these perturbations can be killed by appropriate change of variables. Uh, the similar theorem so holds true not only for uh, uh, the, uh, differentially non-degenerate operators, but for GL regular operators. So GL regular operators also so can be uh, reduced to uh, the same kind of form. Again, I, I repeat that, uh, that we, we do not uh, assume that anything about uh, uh, genericity in the sense of that algebraic type is constant. No, no, no. So that it, uh, it is true for both, for singular points and for uh, uh, generic points. Uh, we, we, the, it's very universal theorem that any jail regular operator so even at singular points, so it can be reduced to this form where there are these functions f, uh, f1 and fn, so they satisfy certain conditions. By the way, though, these are exactly the coefficients of the characteristic polynomial. Uh, they, they, they satisfy a certain system of uh, PDEs. Uh, this system so can be solved uh, without integration, so just uh, algebraic. Uh, 
that, which is also a very nice fact. Um, uh, the one, the, the, the global result, uh, uh, not uh, the, 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 can we say something about uh, properties of uh, nine phase operators on closed manifolds? So, so one of theorems is as follows. Of course, it follows uh, from uh, generalized uh, Nylander Nirenberg theorem. So let's consider an nine phase operator on a closed manifold and assume that at uh, one point, so there is a complex eigenvalue. This complex eigenvalue, just exactly this. Uh, so will be at eigenvalue on the whole manifold with the same multiplicity. No, shortly, uh, nine phase operators on uh, closed manifolds, uh, they, they, they cannot have a non-constant complex eigenvalues. Uh, it, it, it's not, uh, it, it doesn't follow directly from uh, uh, nine phase. Uh, uh, from uh, Nirenberg Nylander theorem, because uh, uh, there, there could be some sort of mixture of real eigenvalues, complex eigenvalues. Uh, the complex may become real, the, the real may become complex, but still, so what, uh, the, 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 what is said here is true. So if the manifold is, uh, is closed, so then so, uh, this sort of perturbations, so transition from complex to real are uh, just impossible. Uh, the, the another corollary, the, that, so that was uh, really surprising to us. Uh, the, uh, let, the little, let, me, let me show you so this situation again. So perturbation of the Jordan block. Uh, the, the, uh, this is a very typical singular point. I would say the most typical. And uh, this scholar really say that uh, such points, differentially non-degenerate singular points, cannot occur on, uh, on closed uh, manifolds, on closed uh, uh, compact without boundary. And uh, so it's one more. Uh, uh, corollary. You know, just an example so how uh, this uh, theorem so can be applied. Uh, so if we consider a two-dimensional sphere, then the, on the two-dimensional sphere, the nine Hewitt operators, uh, they do exist, but they uh, cannot have complex eigenvalues at all. So neither uh, constant nor non-constant, no, 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 uh, const uh, no complex uh, eigenvalues. Uh, so there are, so what, uh, what else we know? We know the, the, so the global results in dimension, to, in dimension two. Uh, so we, uh, in the case of GL uh, regular operators, so we have complete description on closed manifolds. Uh, so the, this uh, theorem uh, uh, explains so, so all possibilities, how uh, GL uh, regular nine phase operators may behave uh, on closed uh, two dimensional uh, surfaces. Uh, so basically, so the the, the first uh, uh, the, the first case is, is something easier to, to understand, but uh, uh, let's look at it. So if you have uh, the orientable uh, two dimensional manifold, then of course it admits the complex structure. Complex structure is. Uh, is the nine Q separator. So what else could you do? No, you could add the uh, identity operator with certain coefficients. So you can consider linear combination of identity and complex structure. It's definitely nine Q. And uh, if beta, uh, this coefficient uh, is, uh, is, is not zero, it is GL regular. No, for uh, the surfaces of genus higher than one, and different from sphere, except for the torus. This is the only possibility. On the torus uh, so the, and the plain bottle, so there are some, some other examples. Uh, we, uh, we have complete uh, classification now. Uh, and that, but I wanna say that this theorem is not uh, easy at all because it is based on the, on uh, normal forms of uh, GL regular operators uh, in dimension two. So to we know just we know everything about singularities of these operators, and just analyzing this information, we succeeded to get uh, the global classification. No, it's just a corollary. Basically, that's what I've just said. Uh, if uh, the two-dimensional manifold is orientable, is different from torus, uh, so then 
uh, there are only trivial nine phase operators, uh, GL regular nine phase operators on it. Uh, and if M uh, is non orientable and different from Klein bottle, then there are no GL regular nine phase operators at all in, in this case. Uh, the open problems. Uh, in this area, I, uh, I refer to uh, our more or less recent, not already, no, it's three years already, paper uh, 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 by uh, myself, uh, Valody Matveev, Eva Miranda, uh, and uh, Sereja Tabachnikov on open problems uh, in finite dimensional integrable systems. So there is a special section on uh, nine phase geometry and not just to mention that what I, uh, I consider the most uh, so interesting topics here um, uh, it's topology or say topological abstractions uh, for existence of GL regular nine phase operators on closed manifolds local normal forms for GL regular nine phase operators Left symmetric algebra. So this is the huge, the, the huge uh, the, uh, set uh, of uh, open problems. <laughs> just because nothing is known, only two-dimensional case, and so uh, so there are some lists of uh, the left symmetric algebras in dimension three. Uh, uh, they, they, they are much harder to classify as compared to, to Lie algebras, but uh, we don't, maybe we don't need all of them. So we probably, possibly we did what we wanna know. Uh, so we wanna classify or find examples of, uh, of those who, which are stable. So non-degenerate, uh, non like uh, semi-simple. Uh, uh, the algebras uh, for uh, Poisson geometry. Nothing is known. Uh, and uh, uh, so we, uh, so we have some sort of conjectures, uh, no, 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 but uh, uh, to, to, to prove them. So we need either to develop absolutely new techniques or possibly to use uh, ideas from the, the papers I already mentioned by Jack Kohn and uh, Dufour. Uh, uh, the zoom. Uh, and uh, so how much time do we have? Uh, let me see. Uh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes uh, for the applications. Uh, the, the, it's, uh, it's about the infinite dimensional the, the Poisson uh, brackets, infinite dimensional Poisson structures. Uh, the, the, how uh, do we use Poisson structures in finite dimensional world? No, we we use them the mostly no, not not I, we I mean me for instance as a user, <laughs> not as a person who, who works in Poisson geometry, but as just the users. I used to 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 define and study the, the, the Hamiltonian systems. No, but this is kind of what what uh, what is written here. Uh, the, everybody understands. So if you have Poisson structure, you have a function, you can construct Hamiltonian flow and then discuss if it is integrable or not or study properties. In the infinite dimensional systems, it, it's, uh, it, it's just special class, class of Poisson brackets, uh, so-called ge differential geometric brackets. Uh, the, the, it, it, it's uh, the ideal, ideologically, so this is the same story. So what do we have? Uh, Hamiltonian, which is functional in this case, and uh, and the Poisson bracket, which basically does uh, the same job. But uh, so, what is the difference? Uh, the, instead of uh, the the differential of the Hamiltonian functions, we have to consider uh, variational uh, so derivative. And uh, so, when we apply uh, this PIJ Poisson structure to this variational derivative. It's not just the multiplication, but so PIJ itself is, uh, is a differential operator again. Uh, as a result, uh, we will get, uh, so here in the, the left-hand side, not just certain function which will depend on X, U, uh, the, uh, the derivative of u with respect to x. So that so the in this case uh, the Hamiltonian system it's a specialized class of uh, evolutionary equations including uh, KDV equations for instance 
Kamas the Holmes and then others. Uh, uh, some uh, Poisson structures are better than the other. In the, uh, in the finite dimensional case, that we have Darboux theorems, which says that so PIJ can be always uh, reduced to constant form. So here, so that, uh, there are also operators so satisfying these properties. Uh, the constant form in this case, uh, so means the following. So this operator, so PIJ, could, could be you know, GIJ constant functions. Uh, uh, and uh, then D is, uh, is, a, uh, is a total derivative with respect to X. Uh, also the same, uh, but uh, third order total, total derivatives. What, uh, what is important that, uh, so this GIJ and HIJ, so these coefficients, so can be understood as, uh, as just components of uh, flat, metric, flat uh, to Riemannian metric. We will assume some, some non-degeneracy conditions of these matrices are non-degenerate. Uh, of course, we, we can rewrite uh, now uh, the, these Poisson structures in any coordinate system. So it doesn't matter if uh, the um, uh, GIJ uh, is uh, the constant or not, what is important, it, it must be flat. And then so that we have a formula, so how this operator lo looks like in any coordinate system. So uh, AJ, what, what is the message? The message is uh, the following. For uh, every flat metric, uh, so we can define uh, the uh, uh, infinite dimensional Poisson bracket of order one and also of order three. So that's, uh, that's what uh, I say. And also let me remind you uh, that um, uh, two Poisson brackets are called compatible if uh, the sum uh, of these brackets is again the Poisson bracket. So this uh, that's a very standard definition, which uh, works for both the finite dimensional case and the infinite dimensional case. And what we want, uh, so the, the, the we want to, solve the following problem. Uh, so consider the com compatible Poisson brackets, uh, which are uh, non-homogeneous, which consists of both uh, first order terms and third order terms. Uh, the, so in the, the, uh, these guys, uh, uh, homogeneous components, uh, uh, they are defined by means of a certain flat matrix. Uh, what is important to understand from the very beginning, when I say flat matrix, uh, the, uh, for each of them, so that we can find a certain coordinate system where the components are constant, but you cannot do it simultaneously for, for G and for H. So this is uh, the such coordinate system does not exist. So they, 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 they just flat, but they sort of, they become flat in different coordinate systems, let's say. So to what we want to, uh, to the, what the, oops, the, what we want to, uh, to study uh, non-homogeneous Poisson brackets of this type to BH plus AG, uh, and B H bar uh, plus A G bar, uh, which are uh, compatible, compatible in uh, in the above sense, or the equivalently. So that we want to uh, describe four flat metrics, G G bar H and H bar, so satisfying this condition. But, uh, so the uh, uh, in this sense, uh, our problem is uh, is purely geometric. So this is something to do with uh, uh, the Riemannian matrix, or uh, maybe uh, slightly it's a reformulation of, uh, of, of this uh, uh, this approach. Uh, so what we want to describe uh, the uh, pairs of flat matrix G and uh, the G bar, uh, uh, no, such that uh, we, uh, they admit uh, so some other matrix H and the H bar, um, so that uh, the uh, the the uh, non-homogeneous brackets obtained in this way are uh, compatible. Uh, uh, G and G bars, uh, uh, of course, uh, they must be compatible. Uh, so, if we want uh, uh, to, uh, to to have compatibility for uh, non-homogeneous objects, homogeneous parts must be compatible uh, also. And this procedure uh, is known as kind of dispersive perturbation. So, we have two compatible brackets of uh, order one, and uh, so we want to perturb them by adding terms of order three, uh, such that so they remain 
uh, uh, compatible. Uh, why? Why uh, uh, this uh, this question? Not just because uh, many multi-component uh, so PDE system, integrable PDE systems related to bi Hamiltonian structures are are of this kind, uh, so including uh, multi-component analogs of KDV, Kamasa Holmes, or Hari Dim equations. Uh, they, they, they are like this, and uh, this is uh, the, that's one of uh, possibilities, and uh, and that that's uh, what we uh, do. Um, uh, uh, the, 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 so just some some key points to mention, and how it is related this business to nine Hughes geometry, of course. So that's what I need to explain. No, no, first of all, uh, the uh, the definition by Dubrovin. So we take uh, two flat metrics, so G and G bar. Oops. So G and G bar. Uh, so we say that they are Poisson compatible if the following holds. Uh, uh, they remember that we basically we are talking about contravariant uh, metrics with upper indices. Uh, so if uh, the sum uh, of G and G bar is still flat, it's very serious condition. No, but again, so look at this condition. It's it's something. It, it's uh, it's it reminds very much uh, the Poisson business. Two Poisson structures are compatible if the sum uh, is uh, still Poisson. Uh, two flat metrics are compatible if the sum is uh, still flat. No, but uh, that's not enough. Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, so contravariant uh, Christoffel symbols uh, must also be related in this way. And uh, this is exactly as to say that uh, the corresponding uh, Poisson brackets are uh, the A, uh, A G and A G bar of first order are, uh, are, are compatible. Uh, the, of course, just in the same way, uh, you, uh, you 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 can define the not only two-dimensional pencils of compatible metrics. When I say pencil, I just uh, I say that let's consider all linear combinations. So if sum is uh, uh, is is flat, then any linear combination will be flat. So it's just the same. This is exactly the same as in Poisson uh, business. Uh, the way we can consider. Uh, uh, the, uh, compatible uh, pencils, uh, flat pencils of compatible metrics of any dimension, not to, not not just G G bar. So there, there could be so many of them, and uh, uh, so there's a fact to to mention. So this is. Um, uh, the observation by Jenny Ferapontov, uh, which says that so if you have two Poisson compatible uh, Riemannian metrics, so then the operator between them, not just uh, you, you take two forms and you can uh, cook up uh, the operator in the most natural way, so and this operator will be non-hues. And it means uh, that uh, so if I have uh, a pencil uh, of uh, flat compatible metrics, I can represent uh, this pencil in terms of a certain Menhuis pencil. So it, uh, every metric, so GC here in this pencil, so can be written as just one particular metric uh, multiplied with a certain Menhuis operator, so some sort of uh, uh, recursion operator between so G and uh, some, some other representative of, of this pencil. So what is nine Hughes pencil? This is, it's very natural object and the, 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 the simplest maybe in, the, in this, uh, uh, in this paradigm. Uh, the, oops, sorry. Uh, the, we, uh, the 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 the, the Nanhuis pen, pencil. So this is just a family of Nanhuis operators, uh, which is linear. So so that so that any linear combination with constant coefficients is still Nanhuis. It's very the, the exceptional, of course. Uh, the property uh, no no no. But uh, uh, so they they do exist. So there are many interesting examples. And uh, uh, in my opinion, that's uh, that is another. Uh, very important uh, uh, question to uh, to uh, to study. Uh, 
So, so once again, what is my message? My message is uh, that so it's, if you want to study uh, like compatible Poisson brackets uh, no, of this type, that's a very special type of course. Uh, do you need to study uh, the pencils of uh, flat matrix? But pencils of flat matrix are uh, uh, are related to, to nine Hughes pencils. So this is just one particular metric plus nine Hughes pencil. Okay, so now the, the what is uh, the what is the solution to the problem I mentioned uh, in in terms of nine Hughes geometry. So how how it works? The, this is not how we solve this problem, but this is how we. Uh, represent how the solution so can be represented. We start from the Hughes operator L. Uh, so then, so we add some some combinatorial data, certain graph, and uh, some, some some parameters. Of, uh, to give me uh, two more minutes, uh, and I, I will finish. Uh, so and then, the, so we oops, sorry. Uh, so the, the we construct uh, the following certain rule from this data, uh, the Nanhuis pencil. So uh, elements of this pencil are depend on the, the, on these parameters and the one fixed uh, Nanhuis operator L. So this is just a combination, so it's very kind of tricky, uh, but given by the explicit formulas. Uh, the, so now the way we, we take a special metric to G0 and cook up a uh, flat pencil from the, this nine Hughes pencil. And uh, the first result is uh, that uh, this pencil is also obtained. So we'll admit dispersive perturbations. It, it means uh, that uh, so for each uh, it's a metric, uh, the GC from this pencil, I, uh, I can find this sort of companion HC, such that all uh, the Poisson brackets, uh, it's a BHC plus AGC, B third order, A first order, all of them are compatible for uh, the any values of parameter C. And the second result, uh, the, uh, the, that uh, the every uh, two-dimensional pencil which admits dispersive perturbation, so will be a sub-pencil of uh, uh, the uh, of uh, of of this uh, the pencil the big pencil. It's a big pencil, so having many parameters. Uh, uh, from five. Uh, so given uh, uh, this uh, two, two, two uh, dimensional pencil and the embedding into this the big pencil, so we can explicitly construct uh, H and the H bar and solve our problem. After this, uh, so we can construct and study so given two uh, compatible Poisson structures, so this is the standard machinery, how to produce uh, so integrable systems out, uh, out of them. And I, I just, I, I want to show you uh, so the, what we get in the very, then uh, the most uh, simple case, already something uh, so interesting. Uh, uh, so there's, here is, uh, the, the, here's the formula. Uh, the, we take a nine Hughes operator, so consider the coefficients of characteristic polynomial, and then so to consider just the evolutionary equation. So this is Hamiltonian equation, with, which is, will be Hamiltonian with respect to both brackets. And for uh, uh, this reason, it will be uh, the integrable. So we'll uh, admit uh, many conservation laws and uh, commuting symmetries. Uh, uh, so the why I believe that uh, this is interesting because uh, so it, you see it, it depends on lambda as a parameter. So what happens if this lambda uh, tends to no, say either to zero or to infinity? If tends to infinity, then uh, this, uh, this, uh, this equation becomes uh, uh, so that, uh, that, uh, that's much much simpler. So to just like this, and the in dimension one. So you remember we work on n-dimensional manifolds. So u is a known function is multi-component. If we have only one component, so then the, you will get exactly KDV equation. So the, the, this uh, the integrable system is uh, 
in, includes uh, the, with one particular value of uh, parameter uh, the, the multi-component uh, KDV system, too, which is nice. Um, uh, the, the, I, I, uh, I don't have time to, oops, to, to explain so how it works. Uh, the, 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 what if uh, uh, basically so the answer is written uh, and uh, uh, this, this description is given uh, in the last slides. Uh, but uh, I have to stop. Uh, thanks a lot for your attention. Uh, yeah, and uh, to, I, I'll be happy to uh, to 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 continue discussion if uh, some of you find uh, sort of this topic uh, interesting. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Um, so we should open for questions now. Um, I don't see any raised hands yet. Uh, sorry, uh, can I ask a question? Here. Sure, sure. It's not a question, it's just a comment. Uh, Lyosha, uh, there are many, many interesting geometries from symplectic Monjampere ampere operators with constant coefficients. Some toy models were constructed with, uh, in our paper with Yvette. And they are related to the question of uh, Rui. Yeah. That, that, that's it, means, all... it means that uh, if you take, for example, elliptic or hyperbolic Monjampere ampere operators, just classical, then you have two integrable uh, Nienius uh, operators. One uh, which gives you a complex structure and one is the almost product structure mm -hmm. in four dimensions. I see. And there are also interesting examples in six dimensions. It means for three dimensional constant coefficients, Monjampere operators. And also there are interesting uh, higher dimensional splitting cases which probably deserve to be studied. I completely agree. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, according to our plans, uh, uh, so what we wanted to do in uh, ninth House Geometry 5, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the title of this paper is and this is going to be kind of ninth House Zoo, uh, and that we wanted to uh, to collect uh, so the, the interesting examples from different fields, uh, for, from different areas, uh, non-Hewitt separators, or maybe as you said, the pairs of non-Hewitt separators. Uh, interact yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, the construction is completely but, uh, similar to your construction yeah. of compatible matrix. You have two, in some sense, compatible two forms. Two. One of them is a non-degenerate, and one of them just two form in four dimensions. But you can also just slightly generalize this. It is not possible in any dimension, but it is possible, uh, very funny, it is very, very nice uh, situation in the dimension four times k plus two. It means uh, cotangent bundle to odd dimensional manifold locally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we can discuss if you want. Beautiful yeah. talk, thank you very much. Just enjoy, really. May I ask a question? Please go ahead. May I ask a question? Yes, yes, Havanas, go ahead. Sorry, uh, uh, Alexei, one thing which I learned from Ted Voronov that uh, that Nian Hu's bracket, it is a bracket which is natural for for vector value for 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 forms which are vector valued. Sure. Yes. Of course, of course, it is special. You consider very, you consider very special case. Can you just give a comment about 
what 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 is it what is it if, if we will stand on this point of view of course i understand that it was not your your the point of your talk but i just want to understand okay no the the the, 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 uh, uh, the my my, uh, my comment will be um no, of, no, of course, yeah, of course, it, it does exist, yeah, so, and uh, you, you can do it. No, no, but uh, uh, I, I can, uh, my point, I, I, I want to repeat uh, this once again, so we uh, want to study, singular, first of all, singularities and some global properties. That's what uh, we want to understand. Um, uh, uh, I, I would love to ask uh, the same questions for uh, the structures uh, you are talking about. Uh, the, uh, about uh, the not, not, uh, not only for the main host operators, which are vector value at one forms, but uh, for more complicated objects. Uh, no, no, but uh, from this point of view, I'm just, I'm not able to do it. I, 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 I first I need to understand what uh, what happens in this case. That's the uh, first part of my answer. And the other part is that what you're talking about, uh, this will be directly related to nine Hughes uh, cohomologies. It's uh, so this uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, the this operator so it will play uh, uh, the, the the crucial the, the role of this bracket uh, uh, in in this business. Uh, and no, but this, uh, that is another topic. We no, we do only have some very very small I ideas of how 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 it works. Now, I mean, so we we do know the definitions, no, but uh, the, the, if we want to compute something, so the uh, and then here is uh, cohomologies. Uh, so do we so do we need to you know, to do something kind of substantial first, like Poincaré lemma or something like this. Uh, and uh, this, uh, of course, uh, still needs to be done. So that, uh, that is my comment about, uh, it, is, it is not done. But uh, no, that, uh, that I, I wanna uh, say, uh, uh, say about this as one thing, it's just, I, I, I like it. Uh, the, when, the ones I, uh, I uh, I gave uh, a similar talk about the nine phase geometry and uh, one of participants who said, I, when I mentioned uh, that it would be nice to develop uh, uh, nine sort of cohomology theory and he said, but everything is done. And, uh, and uh, no, by Franco Magri, uh, uh, they basically, uh, and I said, what is done? And then after discussion, so we just observed that what is done, it's a definition is done, definition. And basically nothing else. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, uh, yeah, but the theory is, yeah, it's, it's still to be developed. That, that's my in fact, in fact, it was very good, very important talk for, thank you very much. I joined to Valodia comment. It was very, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your question, for answering. Uh, can I can I ask a question? Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, so suppose you have a nine house operator and it vanishes at a point. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a Lie algebra attached to that, right? Uh, there is a left symmetric algebra first, uh, but you also you can construct uh, the Lie algebra from it. Okay, so now assume that that Lie algebra is semi-simple of compact type. Okay. What no, it's, say? I'm sorry, it's uh, Andre Kanyev. It, it is it impossible. Is, it is impossible that it is impossible? simple. Yes, all the, algebras, all the Lie algebras you get um, from uh, left symmetric algebras, they uh, at best are reductive. There are some you can make a left symmetric algebra and turn it into GLN uh, Lie algebra, right? This is SLN plus uh, one dimensional uh, center. But most of the time, 
you get either solvable or even uh, commutatively eligible. Yeah, the, 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 that is, uh, no, that, that's, that's a big difference. And so the, the true objects, which is related uh, to the man who is business, it's left symmetric algebra. Of course, you can produce the algebra from it, but, but when you do it, you lose very essential information. Well, for, for instance, in my example of diagonal, uh, uh, diagonal left symmetric algebra, it's very good algebra. It is stable, to, I mean, non-degenerate, uh, stable under perturbations. It's sort of analog or must be an analog of semi-symbol case. But if you do uh, this trick and consider uh, the corresponding Lie algebra, it, it's going to be just trivial, zero. No, uh, uh, yeah, and you, you, you cannot get compact Lie algebra, unfortunately. So there, there's uh, 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 the the questions are similar, but uh, the phenomena are uh, uh, different. Is there is there a, a group like object associated? Sorry, sorry, second. Is there is there a group like object? Uh, that, yeah, so that, that is okay. So this is no, but it, this is something important, and uh, that maybe is what I'm going to say. To the, the will, uh, the, the will be um, uh, will be bad uh, bad news for the Boston community. Uh, Boston business uh, is essentially based on, you know, for instance, on uh, the Boston actions of groups. Yeah? Uh, the uh, momentum mappings uh, and uh, and uh, but basically the fact uh, that uh, the 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 automorphism group for Poisson structure is huge. It's all uh, the Hamiltonian uh, flows, for instance. Uh, you you can consider in in this case, uh, yeah, the good or bad. Uh, uh, the situation is absolutely different. Uh, there's a rule, so if you consider uh, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, the manifold, the, the, the automorphism group will be almost trivial, maybe, maybe just trivial in, uh, in, uh, in uh, for closed manifolds. But, but maybe, maybe you have to be a bit more open minded. Uh, and by group like, it's not necessarily a group in the same sense that you have the, these left symmetric. Algebras that have that have an associated Lie algebra that it's not so interesting. Maybe your group-like object should be something associated with these left yeah. algebra. Yeah, yeah, so that is uh, that 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 is uh, that, that that is quite possible. So, no, that, that that would be a, of course natural question to study automorphisms of left symmetric algebras. It just uh, and so they are uh, non-trivial. Uh, and it makes sense. So, and also, so there is another thing to, to which, uh, they, which I can, I count on kind of support from the Poisson community. Uh, the, I mentioned uh, the problem of uh, local classification of GL regular operators. Uh, the the true story is what you need to what you need to do to classify. So you, you need to classify solution of certain PDs, and uh, on the set of solutions we have an action of some certain. It, it, but it, it is not a group. It's a, it's a groupoid of. Um, um, of coordinate transformations, so satisfying a certain properties, and uh, and that we do, and uh, this classification is just uh, uh, I'm talking about is exactly a uh, description of uh, of the orbits for uh, for this group O acting on, on the space of solutions. Uh, yeah, I, I when I said group like, I was avoiding the word groupoid, but that's what I had in mind. I mean, it's related to the question I, I asked at the beginning because you have an algebraoid associated with your with your nine house operator, and so that algebraoid 
integrates to a groupoid in principle. But it, but, but, but it's, it's probably not the, the the interesting object that you want. It's something. Uh, uh, what what I what I just mentioned. No, this this has, uh, this object is it's so this is a key object. It's very interesting object. Uh, the, uh, uh, I, I, I will be honest with you. I do not quite understand what uh, what sort of algebra and can group uh, uh, you, you, uh, you 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 mean in uh, asking uh, this question. I, I have to learn this, uh, and uh, then I will uh, they will be able to uh, to say something. No, no, but uh, uh, but I uh, I know that uh, uh, at least group points. They uh, are closely related to this business, especially through normal forms. Okay, thank you, uh, Lyosha. May I also uh, try to to make remark to the last uh, question of Roy? Uh, if it is possible to consider Nina's structure uh, from the viewpoint of uh, Young Baxter uh, modified Young Baxter equation, and then uh, for some uh, value of the constant, uh, you, you can uh, have a double Lie algebra structure on, on the first Lie algebra, given Lie algebra, and then you have a Poisson Lie structure. So it's a cla modified classic of Young Baxter in, in some sense. Did you try to, 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 to look this stru uh, structures from this viewpoint? Uh, so the, I, I, it's, that was for Valodia, that was you, yeah, asking this question. Yes. Yeah, so, so just to be sure. Um, uh, uh, no, I, uh, I would love to do it and to, to think about it and then to work. No, but uh, the, the look, I, I, I still like, I want to, to emphasize something in the, to what, what we are trying to do and what is our approach. Uh, no, of course, what you are talking about, to me, it, it's something about applications. Or, no, because it, it, it's kind of- a, oh, It's a structure, it's, it's a structure. Right, it is a structure, but it is a structure which is related to general uh, nine hue structure. It's a nine hue structure, is just the definition number one and nothing else. And the, the and our point is you know, just in terms of developing uh, general theory, there are a lot of very natural questions to related to just this one single definition. So it is a, there are, the, this is sort of simple objects, same simple object uh, uh, for, for which we, I would say, so the, we expect to, to observe very interesting and kind of in, Absolutely unknown results, and that's what we are trying to do. And uh, uh, and uh, uh, for for us, in her structure plus uh, plus something else, it, it's very interesting thing. And uh, uh, so when when we meet last time, Valodia, okay. So let's talk about this because uh, I uh, because so now it, it's just it's it's not. Uh, no, it, it's not enough time to even to I understand. understand. No, sir, but you have what, so, what so good. You, you have so good collaborators. You have so good group, and you can split the tasks and the, uh, well, 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 the, the, well, well, take young people. Take young people for for this. Yeah, we will. Yeah. We will. So, okay. Thank you. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you for for your suggestion. Any other question? Sorry, may I ask you a question? Uh, what about super analog of this theory? For instance, uh, left symmetric super algebras? Do you, have you had a look or something? Is no? Uh, no, but I, unfortunately, I will have to just to repeat uh, my uh, the, the, my uh, the previous answer to answer to the previous question. No, but we simply didn't have time. So it, uh, you know, uh, we uh, the, uh, the, we observed that uh, there are too many elementary questions without answers. Which which has I just I repeat what I just which are related to 
the definition one, we just definition one, take operator L and, uh, and say something that you do. No, for instance, that you take, uh, take a sphere, uh, just two dimensional sphere. That what are nine phase operators for the sphere? So can we describe them? But we do believe that, that it's, it's a reasonable question on this. No, but I mean, there, I, I, I just want to say that uh, there are, uh, I, I explain my position. I, I do not say that what uh, you suggest that is sort of, it, it needs to be done. No, 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 but uh, what I, then I just say, uh, now I can't say anything, just anything. But I, I want to be honest with you. Uh, the, so you see on, on my last slide that there is a, the, uh, the, the, there is my email address, and I would really I would love to you know, to talk about this. No, no, but uh, I, I just I need uh, the, the more information. But I, 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 I would guess that the answer is yes. So this uh, it makes sense. It can be done. And possibly it, it should be done. And uh, the, the, you know, the, that, uh, you know, let's try that. that. I, I, uh, at, at the moment, uh, I, I don't know. And I, I didn't, we didn't touch uh, the, this problem. And uh, no, 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 but uh, no, since, uh, I don't know, it's, it, it, uh, I, I was trying to convince you that uh, non-heuristic operators are, uh, to this geometry is very natural and uh, has the, the very many natural links and uh, similarities with uh, the Poisson geometry and uh, other areas. Uh, and, uh, the, and since it is natural, then to, to possibly, yes, to, 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 to let's try to do it. Okay, um, any other question? Sure, sure. Okay, if not, I think we can thank Alexei for one more time. Thank you. And um, I'll see you all next week. See you. Bye, bye everyone. Thank bye you, bye. bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.